Well, we don't have to wait for this burn to finish. I am gobsmacked. I love MDF. And just wait for this module to jump out the way and see what boxes it's dropped. This is 3mm MDF and it's in one pass. And that is 560 at 90 and 100 power and it's dropped the boxes. I'm freaking amazed. Now if you look at the 20 watt, it's hardly done anything compared to that. All right, they may tap out when I um, pick up the burn off the matrix and I will redo the 20 just to make sure it was perfectly in focus. I'm sure it was, but I will check. But oh my gosh, that is gonna make such a difference to cutting 3 mil MDF because that has gone from uh, let's look the fastest one that's dropped out is 320 at 100 and now on the 30 watt we're up at 560 at 100 Wow okay so the burn has finished and <laughs> I'm still amazed Right, this is the 20 watt, so I did it right. Yeah, that is the same. Look, look at that, bloody hell. <laughs> 30 watt, longer rave, uh, actually it's the B1 uh, module on a longer rave frame ray 5 frame so my gosh i'm gonna have to redo that test but i that one's gonna drop so this is a 20 what i did the other day so let me just compare the two to make sure yeah, that one obviously I've pushed out. So let me just push these out. So this was my original 20 watt test and this is the one I've just run. So at 100, this is done 380, 100, 375. So I'm not going to redo the test as I just said because they are compatible with one another. <laughs> but this 30 watt has blown me away. And the 20 watt lens was clean. The 30, ray, the 30 watt lens was clean because it was brand new. And I'm not sure whether these will press out. So let me just see whether, with a slight bit of pressure, any more will drop out. And I'm not pressing hard. No, no, no. Oh, yes. 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 So... <laughs> longer what have you done with your 30 watt to make that cut like that so we are we would be above we would probably be up near 600 so i will do a little matrix test now to see what is the maximum because the 20 has got nowhere near so let's see if we're saying it's double so we come down one that would be 700 at 100 uh, no, it wouldn't be double, would it? It would be a third more because we've got 10 watts. Yeah, I'm going to have to redo this matrix because I'm blown away with that. So I'll see you in a bit. Okay, it is done, the second test. Wow. So I expected those to drop out. My gosh. 
<laughs> oh dear. So, I know you've got to take the, these uh, matrix tests with a little bit of pinch of salt because even though we're asking for 620 speed, in this short distance we are not getting up to 620, but the test is still representative on the difference between powers of lasers. Now, if I was using this in a reduction, I would be down here probably... Um, five, six, the uh, ninety. I'd probably use. Never use, never use on a matrix test. The the upper boxes always come down at least two and across two. That's my rule of thumb. But let me get the the twenty. Now I'm 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 wondering here whether my twenty watt has got a diode out because the difference is massive. You know, I was expect, expecting like a third difference because, you know, you've got an extra 10 watts of power. But, you know, we're nearly, I wouldn't say quite half, uh, doubled, but we, we're, we're getting close to double the speed. So what I'm going to do now is a quick test on the diode. So I hope you can see that. I'm holding the 30 watt diode up and I can count six. One, two, six laser beams there, which is expected. I'm now going to do the same with my 20. So all I'm going to do, I'm holding up the, I won't turn it on now because the laser's on the floor. So I am doing laser, no I'm not. I'm doing control, then laser, and then I'm going to pick 5%. So I'm going to hold that up. So I'm holding the laser up about 300 mil. Going to press. 5% and I've got two banks of modules so I'd expect that to have possibly four banks of modules I'm going to have to get my 10 watt out now because on the 10 watt I'm going to turn the power up a bit on that. Well, that's 25%. Yeah, it's hard to see now. It's just a blur. Going to have to try and get some more range on that. 25%. I don't know, this test is inconclusive. It's just a blur. Okay, that's a shame. That test was inconclusive because I, when the laser is so far out of focus, I'm not getting a defined image of the, um, the laser beams. Now on the 30 watt, you could quite clearly see the different banks of lasers because there's six lasers in there the 20 watt should have four lasers the 10 watt two lasers and a five watt one laser or diode um yeah i wonder can 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 someone with the 20 watt either do the test that i did hold the material uh, hold the laser above the material by about 300 mil and turn the laser on at three percent somewhere and see if you get a clear image or if someone's cutting three mil mdf what speeds do you get because say so on a 20 watt doing um three mil mdf the best i got with air assist was 375 at 100 so if someone's getting around 350 at 100 then i know the laser is good i believe in the um power speed chart that L longer provide mdf is not listed and i know 
that on the 30 watt they only list 5 mil MDF and I've obviously got 3. Anyway, I think that was a good test. So I am blown away with the 30 watt. <laughs> I am blown away with this fella. Now, it could be that my 20 watt is not functioning properly, but yeah, yeah, I need the community's help on this one. So please comment down below when you see the video. What speed, if you've got a 20 watt longer uh, Ray 5 diode laser, what speed can you cut 3 mil MDF at? Put me out my misery. Have I got a wonky laser? Um, if you answer quickly, I might get a good night's sleep because this is going to be worrying me now. Anyway, as Andy as ever, saying, have a great afternoon. Continue to make that happy smoke and perhaps you'll catch me in my next video. Cheers for now.